All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we are indeed going to be talking about a channel that's been around for years. A problematic queen which seems to cause more problems than my nan's arthritis. A woman who recently decided to target everything on the internet that has a pulse. And that person is Gabby Hanna. One of the greatest YouTubers of all time is what I would say if we were in an unfortunate timeline where the world was controlled by people who make bad poetry. <laughs> but sadly, we are here in the present moment and Gabby Hanna decided to target every influencer with a following. Now, if you don't know who Gabby Hanna is, then consider yourself blessed because Gabby Hanna recently has been claiming that every single YouTuber on the platform is gaslighting her. She's been digging in and pushing the knife in further, claiming that almost every influencer once her life. But hang on, Curtis, why is this a problem? Well, it wouldn't be a problem if she, uh, wasn't driving while extremely angry. Oh my, I just want to turn turn. Ah! Large part of the story, which was he involved himself in my life. Yeah. Very entitled. You should keep your eyes on the road, Gabby. You know, there might be a car dealership ahead. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear God, no. A car that was caught on camera flying into the air before crashing into a car dealership. But anyway, here's a quick insight just in case you don't know who she is. Gabby Hanna used to be a Viner, which had a decent following, but then she moved over to YouTube and created a channel under the name Gabby Show. And you know, she would upload a lot of mediocre content, but then started doing story times, which is what gained her a lot of attraction. I literally peed my pants in public. I stole my best friend's boyfriend. Dating a porn star. And you'll never but guess what I bloody found? I don't know. Cock pump? Used condoms? This company scammed me out of hundreds of dollars. Well, isn't this one ironic? Because didn't you like scam your whole audience into buying makeup brushes? But enough of that, ladies and gentlemen, because today I want to be talking about her recent drama, I guess you could say, which I believe all started with her poetry. She has been slating every YouTuber under the sun. And for this video, we are indeed going to break it down into six different parts. Chapters, as someone smart would say. We're going to be looking at her in denial, her entitlement, her being a bully, lack of accountability, and of course, hypocrisy and lying. So we are indeed in for a big video today, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you know what's about to happen. It's going to be a great video. But first... About this. We would appreciate it if you did subscribe and, of course, join the channel membership because, you know, that helps me a great amount. If you guys can get me to 100k in the next few months, I promise you I will bring you not only amazing content, but the best content to make it all come true and we will forever be grateful, wouldn't we? Huh? That's it. Get your wind out. Yeah, that's it. This is intimate. But anyway, on to the video. To wear, ladies and gentlemen, a few months ago, Gabby was deep in controversy once again prior to this one. She was on a podcast and claimed that everyone on the internet are bullies and had one of the biggest meltdowns since Anision. This is how they respond. You're losing it. You're manipulating. You're playing the victim. Fuck you. Fuck all of these people for what they've done to me. And for them to be tweeting right now, I'm playing the victim. I am the fucking victim. These are bullies. These are high school fucking bullies. Bullies, and they want to come at me and say you're 29 years old how you're acting fuck you Now why was she so angry perhaps her porn star BF cheated on her <laughs> Maybe no, I mean, it actually wasn't that it was because lots of people were calling her out on her recent behavior on how she'd been acting And she didn't like that Yeah, yeah, the word for that is in denial, which is something that I am not in my Jess bully Yeah, I know she tells me my penis is three inches long. I tell her no, it's 7.62 centimeters. The bigger the number, the better, all right? However, then she started complaining about how she doesn't get as many views as she used to. And it's because everyone hates her. And then you see it has 700,000 views in a month. And you're like, oh my God. People hate me. Fuck you! Imagine complaining about getting 700,000 views a video. That's like 2,000 to 7,000 depending on the CPM. You know? Dollars. In dollars. I don't even get 700,000 views a month, let alone on one bloody video. Entitled. 
and privileged. But Gabby Hanna did indeed write a life-changing poetry, and when I say life-changing, I mean it changed the life of everyone who made videos on her. <laughs> People didn't seem to think it was that good, however, she did indeed come out with a new and improved poetry book, which she actually sent to a YouTuber who reviews poetry. That channel is called Rachel Oates. Gabby wanted Rachel to critique this poetry, and so she did. She did a really in-depth review, and wasn't fond of Gabby's writings. However, Gabby didn't like that. <laughs> Not one bit. Uh, Batman Dark Knight, about 40 minutes into the film. I'm sorry, Gabby, but you sent your poetry to a poetry critic. What exactly was you expecting? It's a poetry channel. They critique poetry, you tit. But after that, she went on a massive rant, claiming that apparently Rachel is ruining her life. However, this is what Gabby Hanna had to say. And it's because when she talks about me, she gets hundreds of thousands to millions of views, and then she posts a little makeup get ready with me and gets 4,000. That's why she cares about my art. She's not a fucking artist. I don't care about her fucking opinion because she has no accomplishments in art or has proven to me that she's actually intellectual enough to understand art. I accept my criticism from talented, smart people, not abusive, toxic, exploitative bullies. She's a fake bitch. I am the fucking victim. You hypocritical fake. <laughs> right, okay, Gabby, but didn't you literally send your poetry for the exact reason you're complaining about? Plus, if you think your opinion is invalid, then why even send your book to her in the first place for an opinion? You know, just asking, you know, the average normal questions. However, then, ladies and gentlemen, she actually targeted another YouTuber, Angelica Oles. Yeah, she claimed that this was the next person she was going to talk about, as if she had some sort of hit list. And apparently, Angelica Oles has been trying to ruin Gabby's life since two years ago. Now, you claim someone's trying to ruin your life, but really what everyone is doing is just reporting on your horrible behaviour on the internet. She's a fake bitch. People don't seek to destroy you, Gabby. People are reporting about you because of the poor decisions you make. And you claim to be a very kind, loving person and that you want to stay away from drama and you've had enough of being bullied, yet you go after almost every YouTuber and attack them. Nice hypocrisy there. Gotta say, gotta say, Gabby Han is probably one of the smartest people I've ever met. But is that it, you might ask? No. She started going after someone who had literally no part of this, and that person is called Oscar Wilde. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why could this be? Perhaps he released a video on Gabby Hanna. Perhaps he released a massive expose article on her. <gasps> no. No, he didn't. He liked a tweet. That's it. I'm drama-seeking, right? I started drama. I just want to turn 10. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, is this not- is this not a drama queen competition? <laughs> Sorry, wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> but this honestly does just sum up how petty everything is. She came after Oscar with an army of fucking rage. How dare you, Oscar? How fun the fucking dare you, you piece of shit? Huh? You fucking animal liking a tweet about me? Fuck you. Die. You horrible cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now he did actually approach Gabby saying he had no idea what was going on and apologized But of course that wasn't enough for Queen Gabby. She wanted him to put her name on the timeline For clout is what she wanted. That's the reality of it And now I'm gonna tell you what she told everyone else she wanted. She wanted a public apology from him for liking a tweet Apologize now. Apologize! It was for clout, Gabby. Uh, you're not gonna pull the shutters over my eyes. This girl has brought me into this for simply liking a tweet Dot dot dot. Then when extending comfort and any type of empathy, she tells me to publicly apologize amongst an entire novel of my wrongdoings for simply liking one tweet. Dot dot dot. I cannot. Dot dot dot. Trying to blast me for blocking her. What the fuck? DM me and he was like, hey, I don't want any problems. It seems like you're going through it. Just so you know, I'm here to chat. It's an open door. So then I responded and I held him accountable to his portion of it. And I was like, yeah, like you contributed to an ongoing hate train. He snapped on me and blocked me. So he didn't actually want to be a listening ear. He actually wasn't offering support. It was performative because he's actually just scared that I'll uh, hold him accountable to his own fusion to a sh Toxic culture. Wow, we're trying to hold people accountable. <laughs> Check you out. But for real, everyone, as we know, Gabby Hanna is the most accountable person on this platform. She holds herself accountable for every mistake she makes. Right? I'm not sure, but let's find out what happens when other creators hold her accountable.
Trisha Paytas actually came out and spoke about Gabby Hanna, claiming that it's not right for her to go off on someone that has an opinion about her poetry, aka Rachel Oates. Trisha held her accountable for her anger and targeting people for the wrong reasons, claiming that it's okay for Rachel to have an opinion about her poetry. And this is what Trisha said. If someone doesn't like or appreciate or get what you're doing, whether that be music, fashion, dancing, YouTube, TikToks, poetry, if someone doesn't like it, like, they're entitled not to like it. And allowing people to get to you because they dislike something you do is ultimately a disservice to yourself, robbing you of so your creative capabilities. This goes for everyone. Be proud of what you put out and who cares about the rest? Now, Gabby Hanna's response to this was accountability for her behavior. Yes, you know, since she tries to hold everyone else accountable for their mistakes, surely she should have uh, held herself accountable, right? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 she didn't. She blocked everything. Everyone that was trying to hold her accountable. Oh, the sweet smell of hypocrisy. Oh shit, Nova, have you farted? Ah, oh, That is the most cartoon thing I've ever done. But now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next bit of this fantastic video, we are indeed going to be taking a trip to our legendary friend, the man who never fails to expose. And we shall be discussing more of Gabby's further breakdowns and trying to tear people apart on the internet. His name, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Don Valentine. So welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Don Valentine And here once again on the internet, the fuckery of fucks continues I'd like to hear some clapping in the audience right now because this is indeed a year of Dr. Don Valentine special One year! It was actually a year and eight months now Long time over a year. But as many as you are aware, Gabby Hanna. <laughs> Woo! Gabby Hanna recently made TikToks. Yeah, she did. But on these TikToks, her fans were commenting, comparing Gabby to Trisha Paytas. If I was you, I'd never want to be compared to Trisha Paytas. Thank you very much. But Trisha Paytas is known for being dramatic, creating drama and controversy for self gain. And if I gotta be honest, that is exactly what Gabby is being right now. So. Let's see what Gabby replied to her fans in the comment section. Someone said she's trying to be the next Trisha Paytas. And now I can't stop seeing that. I'm like Trisha Paytas if she was talented and happy. Are you becoming like Trisha for some clout? I fucking hope not. OMG. LMAO, kill me first. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hanna is indeed targeting Trisha Paytas. And why could this be, perhaps? Why would Gabby Hanna be targeting such an amazing person like Trisha Paytas? <sighs> it's because Gabby Hanna knows that Trisha Paytas will respond, therefore gaining more clout. And here's another example once again. Gabby Hanna is complaining about all the hate she receives in her life, but dishes it out to other creators in return. You know what that is? You know what that is? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? You. It says hypocrisy, fuckface. Oh god, I'm really sorry, here's some flowers. And at this point, Trisha Paytas hadn't even responded to Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna was just firing blanks. <gasps> just like me in the bedroom. Probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't keep that in, actually. But of course, knowing Gabby Hanna, she still wanted to poke the dragon even more. And that is when, ladies and gentlemen, she went on Instagram Live and complained about Trisha Paytas to all of her followers. I know. She's a fake bitch. She like after the podcast was acting like, I'm so happy that our beef is squashed. And then she went and lied about how the podcast was edited, but I'm just gonna release the full podcast because like the parts that I removed out of the podcast were the parts where I was confronting her with the evidence that she was lying. So fucking annoying. <laughs> I removed it for her. That's why it's extra obnoxious that she did that. She's actually obsessed with me, dead ass. me, Christ. Calls Trisha Paytas a lying whore, a fake bitch. <gasps> Ironic, that isn't it? Well, we are about to find out, but first, use some context to the situation. Okay, so Trisha Paytas went on Gabby Hanna's podcast where they spoke about Thanksgiving. And Gabby Hanna claims that Trisha Paytas herself invited Gabby to her Thanksgiving dinner with her family. But Trisha claims that never happened, and they went back and forth, back and forth on the podcast, claiming that it never happened, while Gabby Hanna says the complete opposite. And in result of this, Trisha did indeed release two videos about Gabby Hanna one hour after the podcast podcast was released. This is indeed why Gabby Hanna is calling Trisha Paytas a lying whore and a fake bitch. And this is the exciting bit, ladies and gentlemen. Who is lying? Is Trisha Paytas lying? Which wouldn't be a surprise. Or is Gabby Hanna lying? Which wouldn't be a surprise either. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is only one way to find out, of course. 
Trisha tweeted this. I blocked it everywhere because I have no interest in the back and forth with someone delusional, not seeking help. She voice memoed me the next day. I have it of her admitting the story she tried to convince me that happened, in fact, did not happen. And Gabby quoted Trisha's tweet and claimed that Trisha Paytas was being a liar. And this is what Gabby Hanna had to say. Trisha said in her two videos, once again calling me a liar, that she was no longer had the voice memo. If she was lying then or now, who knows? It's impossible to tell with a pathological liar. I do have it though, and we'll hear it soon enough. Two people calling each other liars? Well, that does indeed take me back, ladies and gentlemen, when I was in court for apparently showing my balls to my neighbour's wife. Yeah, I know. Fucking ridiculous. Wasn't even showing my balls to his wife. I've shown it to his wife's dad. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Gabby Hannah calling Trisha a pathological liar. Oof. <laughs> Is Gabby a hypocrite and a liar herself? Well, let's hear the voice note that Trisha did indeed release to the public eye. Calling me a liar and stuff. Here's a voice memo. The next day, she sent these to me. Oh, and I also wanted to quickly say the things that I was wrong about because I... Since I couldn't sleep last night, this was all I was thinking about. I just was kind of checking for myself. Um, something I was wrong about was like, we definitely did not have Thanksgiving plans. Like I went back and looked at that and I definitely inflated that in my head where it was more just like, I think you were spending Thanksgiving with Sean's family. And I said, I, uh, none of my friends were in town. You're like, oh my God, I wish I knew I would have just like stayed home and we could have eaten together. Well, motherfucking shit. Gabby Hanna was lying. Oh, you're a hypocrite and you're a fucking liar. That doesn't look good, Gabby. That does not look good one bit. You call Trisha a pathological liar, but yet you were the one who was lying. Well, fucking well, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know it is. Well, anyway, just for a conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the drama for today. And I will tell you right now that uh, Gabby Hanna needs to take accountability. And I would definitely not suggest calling more people on the internet for drama, because that's just going to put you in the shit even further. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. And now it's time for a face reveal. Yeah, I said, tell me what you mad for, uh, you mad, bro, uh.